All triangles have three sides. The English prefix tri comes from both Greek and Latin, meaning three. Other words that have the same prefix include triplets, one of three offspring from the same pregnancy. Triple, to multiply by three. Tripod, a three-legged stand for supporting a camera. Anyway, time to get back to terrific triangles. We know that a triangle is a closed figure with three straight sides. It's also handy to know that any triangle is half the area of a rectangle or square with the same height and width. For example, a rectangle with a height of 10 centimeters and a width of 6 centimeters has an area of 60 centimeters squared. Therefore, a triangle with the same width and perpendicular height would have an area of 30 centimeters squared, which is half the amount. In a triangle, the three interior angles always add to 180 degrees, which is the same as a straight line. So, for instance, if one angle is 70 degrees and the second angle is 50 degrees, there would be 120 degrees in total. If all the angles add up to 180 degrees, the missing angle is 60 degrees. In this triangle, one angle is 30 degrees and the second angle is 70 degrees. What is the size of the missing angle? If you got 80 degrees, you are a superstar. The answer is 80 degrees, because 70 plus 30 plus 80 equals 180. There are different names for the types of triangles. A triangle's type depends on the length of its sides and the size of its angles. Equilateral triangles have three equal sides and three equal angles of 60 degrees. Isosceles. Isosceles triangles have two equal sides and two equal angles. In right-angled triangles, one of the angles is a right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees. Scaly. Scalene triangles have no equal sides and no equal angles.